in the Dungeness basement. So, last year I bought this 50 foot hose that you lay on the ground and it like soaks out of it you know what I'm saying like the water comes out so it's really good to like lay it down in your gardens to help water uh never put it down last year so I'm gonna put it up right now well not put up put down <laughs> all right I'm really excited it's just gonna make watering my vegetable garden so much easier so basically I just took the hose that was nicely wound up and I had a uh, homemade, uh, I guess you would call them pegs, that my boyfriend made out of bending hangers. Uh, just not to overly peg them by any means, but just to give it a peg right there at the beginning, I did one. And then I slowly walked around and made sure to lay the hose out around every single vegetable so that every vegetable plant would get watered nicely and this is why this hose is so good because it lays on the ground and the water just goes to the root instead of the back and forth sprinkler where you waste so much water with it just going back and forth in the air so I slowly laid it down like I said making sure to hit every single plant and then once I did that I walked through made sure there's no kinks then I put the pegs in throughout the rest of the garden, just to make sure it was nicely and secure. Uh, you will now see, here I am actually now pegging them in. So when I pegged them in the ground, I made sure that the hose was super flat. Like I said, you really don't want any kinks. And the key here with most gardening is organizations, weirdly enough, even though it looks so chaotic and not organized, the fact that I'm doing this before the plants are all long and big and overgrown, you do this when you first plant it so you can get right to the center of the plant, right to the root. Uh, so yeah, just slowly peg them in. I mean, these pegs worked out perfect and cost, again, no money because they are made by using old hangers. So it's always good when you can upcycle anything because... Trust me, <laughs> we don't use hangers in this house, <laughs> but somehow own a million. Okay, so now this is actually the beginning of the hose, clearly, and I'm screwing in the attachment of the other hose right to it. You want to make sure it's nice and tight, again, obvious, and see how I pegged it right at the beginning there? So that's perfect. It's just going to be so easy all summer just to grab the hose and hook it up, and it's, you're always going to leave the laying down one there, so it's perfect. And now this is just, for me, the final test to make sure, does this actually work? <laughs> so I just... Yeah, very excited to have this this summer. I really feel like this is going to save so much watering time. And time is money, especially in Ontario where I live. <laughs> so once I turned the hose on and walked around to check to see if the water was coming out, I noticed in some parts the water wasn't coming out. And sure enough, there was a crazy kink. Uh, I don't even think I took the kink out on camera. I found it. And once I undid that kink, it was like, what? It was super crazy. It was coming out super hard. Uh, I moved that guy too more uh, deep into the cucumber, more like behind the cucumber plant. Again, just because you want the best spot for this water because it's just coming right out to the roots. And I also later on moved uh, a lot of the hose around this part uh, as well, just to circle more of the tomato plant. And yeah, I'm like super excited. So I could have fun and vlog 